Tacoma Comics here, and I just got back from vacation in Leavenworth, Washington. I told my mom I'm going on vacation in Leavenworth. She can only think of the uh, prison in Kentucky, or I think it's in Kentucky, Kansas. I don't even know. But Leavenworth in Washington is a beautiful mountain town that's built itself as a Bavarian-style village. It's all like fake modern-day Bavarian, but it's still a really nice place to go. Um, you can float a river there. Uh, either bring your own paddle boards or tubes or kayaks or whatever, or you can rent and hire a company and not hire. Like there's a company that like has a really robust business of just shuttling people up river, down river, up river, down river. Um, so we did that once. Uh, I went climbing twice. We shared a house, my family with, uh, some friends of ours, um, rental house, uh, about half hour outside of, um, of Leavenworth, but uh, the rock climbing in Leavenworth is amazing. Some of the best in the state and like over 1500 routes. Um, just did some amazing climbing hot as it was. Uh, we got up kind of early, got out there early and climbed, climbed, climbed. So rock climbing, river floating, but there also can be found within Leavenworth, a very special little shop called Krampus Cave. That's Krampus with a K and cave with a K. I have a Krampus Cave tote here because I got so many books. And they have not just books. They have um, all sorts of stuff, uh, role-playing games, graphic novels, you know, the whole like uh, dice, um, the whole nerd <laughs> panoply of things that you can have. So I went there on a Wednesday um, after floating the river. Uh, my wife and kids were just walking around. We'd had lunch, and I said, can I go into this place? And they have a back issue um, area and it's pretty extensive. It's not, you're not finding like golden age, copper age. It's all modern back issues. They only have modern comics as far as I know, but they 20% off. And so I found a bunch of comics that um, were all $2 each because they're $3.99 normally. Uh, and these are comics that I needed to finish a run. And I got to double check because I didn't have the run written down, but I'm pretty sure... Um, I got everything I need to finish the run. I might be missing one. I might have duplicated one or two. What you gonna do? So, A Righteous Thirst for Vengeance by Rick Remender, Andre Lima Aro Aroyo, A-R-A-U-J-O, not sure. Chris O'Halloran and Russ Rutan on letterings. Um, I love the color scheme that they used for uh, the design on these titles. But this is, I think, pretty much every issue that I did not have. There's issue five, issue six, issue seven. Love this blue. Issue eight, e issue nine, ten, And 11. So I think I have issue 12 actually. I think I actually bought issue 12 in the in a my an LCS near me. Um, I guess it has to be near me if it's an LCS, L meaning local. But anyway, I bought it at LCS um, when it was still fresh on the newsstand, and then uh, they're not called newsstands anymore. And then I went back and got back issues, and like you saw, didn't have too many of them. Got a whole bunch right there. So that would have been a nice little haul, half price, uh, a whole run of books that I'm looking for. But Thursday, we woke up. I went climbing with my friend. Her husband drove us out to the cliffs. He went hung around town. My wife and kids got up, packed up the house, and went through the checkout routine and left and drove home. I stayed to go rock climbing. We climbed till about 2 in the afternoon until the rock was actually too hot to touch. Um, and we're like, okay, we're done. We're dripping with sweat and thirsty as can be. We've done a bunch of climbs. We're good to go. We go back into town to eat. And they're like, I'm like, you know, there's a shop I'd like to go to because on Thursdays, their back issues are 50% off. That's not 5 0, yo. That's 50%. So let's see what I got there. Um, don't think I had this. This is the Christmas special for Wicked and Divine. Some random Spider-Gwen issues that I'm pretty sure I did not have. I got to complete this run, which is really cool because I 
got like issue one, but I actually got another issue one since it was so cheap. Um, really excited. The variants. That's a cover I did not have. I got the Phil Noto cover on that. I don't know who that is by, but it's written by um, Gail Simone, and Phil Noto does the art for most of it, um, just not some of those variant covers. Uh, and really excited to read this, and I love this next variant. This is so awesome. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? That's a kick-ass cover. Boom. Then I found another little run that I've wanted, and a lot of these were variants. They did not have A covers on them. Sabretooth and the Exiles. Um, I read, like, issue one or two of these, one and two, and then I think I stopped um, and actually sold those, uh, but wanted to continue with the series, and I think I've got one through five, and I believe... That's as far as it went. I'm not positive. But I've got one through five now. So I've got a lot of reading to do. And if you followed me, you know that I, this is, I've had three copies of this book. I had one that had a tick, so I brought it back. I was given another one in exchange for my LCS because they're really, really awesome. Shout out Stargazer Comics. And then the one that they gave me in replacement... I held like this and walked home. I didn't get a bag of board for it because I like to bag and board my stuff at home. I didn't have a bag to carry it in. By the time I got home, there was a big fingerprint mark there. So I was like, oh, shoot. So um, I went and ordered another one. It was still open to order. The one that they got me, even though it was new, had a few issues on it. I'm like, hey, I ordered it. I'll pay for it. No problem. But then I found this one, which has a tiny, I don't know if you can see the tick. It's not even a tick. It's more like just a a non-color breaking tick somewhere in the middle there. So this is <laughs> my fourth <laughs> issue of this, but the best one by far. Um, I love this series, the Miss Marvel and Venom, Miss Marvel and Wolverine, Miss Marvel and I, Moon Knight. Um, I love them. They kind of set Miss Marvel up to have like more interactions with, with uh, mutants, especially the Wolverine one. Uh, I wasn't going to splurge in all the... Uh, alternative variant covers but i saw this peach momoko half off i figured i'd grab it then completing another run i started this and never finished up on it and if you follow my full run friday uh you know that i don't um like to get things in um trade paperback as much as i like to get the single issues so the good asian oh, these are backwards so that's issue 10 and nine, eight, and seven, and six, and five. This looks like a cover from 100 Bullets, actually. And four, and three, and I'm pretty sure I've got issue two and one. So, really excited about that. But wait, there's more. Last thing I found is this is something I picked up, a Boom series, and uh, three, four. I'm pretty sure I've got issues one and two sitting upstairs. I read them a while ago. Um, I hope I didn't sell them because I'd feel really dumb because um, I know it was a long time <laughs> ago that I had them. But this Dark Blood, I can't even remember too much of what it's about, except this guy was done dirty and he's trying to get his revenge. Um, that's about all I remember, uh, but I'm really excited for two bucks each. I got four missing issues of Dark Blood, and like I said, I'll have to check around, make sure that I still have issues one and two somewhere. And then this morning, of course, I went to Half Price Books after I went to the gym to meet my trainer to work out, so it's not all comic books. I'm still trying to get into shape so I can climb better and feel better about myself. People often see me and I tell them I'm a climber and I, they don't say anything because they're polite, but I can see them looking and thinking and going, really? Yeah, come to the gym with me, put on some weight so that you uh, weigh the same as me and we'll see how you do. Anyway, I digress. I'm not bitter. I just like this David Nakayama cover. I found some Weapon X. Uh some of the, I guess, slightly more 
um, key -ish issues, five and six and seven. Great reflection cover there. Domino, Sabretooth, and... Oh, Domino, Wolverine, and Sabretooth. Okay, sorry, I got that wrong. I found this awesome variant, man. This was what the height of, like, Star Wars when we were all in COVID. They did that big Disney announcement to announce, like, all the shows that were coming out. This just shot up there. Now it's just a cool variant to a really good story. Um, I like issue seven and eight of this Star Wars series, but I have an incredibly cool run for this to go. I already have that variant. I have both variants of that, but I've got like one through 12 of the series in duplicate. So that will fit quite nicely in there. Uh, I ain't gonna pass up Scotty Young for two bucks. I do have this issue, but I don't have it in newsstand. I'm not going to leave the first appearance of Silver Samurai on the table for 75 cents. And all the dirt seemed to be on the bag. Nice. Uh, by the way, if you know these, um, they do these great, great illustrations on the back of like the first... Wolverines, and then just some Sorcerer Supreme. But I got this specifically because it has the Amy Grant issue, which the fantastic lady, fantastic, already gave me one, but now I have an extra. Um, I think what happened is Amy Grant sued over the use of her image or likeness in this. Uh, boom. 18 and 17, so these are slightly out of order. And they're 16, so these are very out of order. And then just some random books that I got just because they were literally 50 cents each and I couldn't say no. I guess I'm gonna start collecting ALF. Please say no. <laughs> yeah, it's okay, I like collecting, so there you go. Alf, and then the last thing I got at Half Price Books, this is the first time I've ever gotten anything like this at Half Price Books, but we can all use more of these. $3. I see Black Cat, um, Black Suit, and Kingpin on that side, and then this side you were looking at, it looks like Green Goblin in the background. They, oh no, uh, Mysterio. It's Mysterio, and well, so I just thought that was pretty darn cool. I'm excited for that as well. Peel off that price sticker because if you collect comics, you know these cost like 15 bucks, and even the white, uh, regular white boxes, plain white boxes, would cost you about 10 or 11 dollars. So, pretty excited for this haul. I'm pretty happy to be back in the swing of things. And that's it for me. Talk to you guys later. Thank you.